What is up, Rams? I'm Ryan Chris, giving you all the latest in entertainment, starting off with some movie news. For most of us diehard fans of Harry Potter, and for the few muggles out there who know all about, we all know about the Sorting Hat and the four dormitories you can be placed in at our favorite school of Hogwarts. If you don't know for some reason, there are Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And since the first book was released, fans have been discussing and arguing which house they'd be put in if they went to Hogwarts. And with no official way to decide without using some dumb BuzzFeed quiz, author J.K. Rowling a while back created the site Pottermore, where anyone can log in and see what house they would be in. And this past week, four of the main actors decided to take this quiz and see what house they should have been in. Ginny Weasley and Luna Lovegood, or Bonnie Wright and Ivana Lynch, who were placed in Gryffindor and Ravenclaw, both got Gryffindor. Ron Weasley and Neville Longbottom, or Rupert Grint and Matthew Lewis, who were both originally Gryffindors, got Hufflepuff. Bonnie Wright was the only actor out of the four to actually match her character's hall. Now, I'm a Hufflepuff, so when I read this, I was so happy, because we all know there are only like two cool Hufflepuff characters, and well, they both die. So it's nice to see that some of the main characters were meant to be in the best dorm ever. In more nerd news, on Friday we got some information about the next Star Wars film and the film after that. For starters, of course, Disney CEO Bob Iger, who gave this information, could not give out much, but he did answer a few questions. The first one being if Carrie Fisher will be in Episode 9, because we all know in Rogue One they digitally captured some characters who had passed away. And Bob Iger said that they weren't going to do that with her, and that's something they'll need to address in the ninth one, saying she is all throughout the eighth. He did, however, give a brief plot on the next spin-off movie, which is unnamed as of now, but it's about a young Han Solo. Bob said that it will follow him from when he is 18 to 24, and how he acquired a certain ship, met a certain Wookiee, and how he got his name. Now, after hearing these statements, everyone is asking about what he meant by how he got his name. Is that his reputation? Was Han Solo a name he made for himself? All I know is that this movie is light years away and that for now, we are just gonna have to wait. In some Fort Collins news, I went to a horse ranch to see some knights. Riders from across Colorado traveled up to Appaloosa Ranch to participate in a clinic held by Order of Epona. This clinic taught these aspiring knights how to play medieval games. Their instructor, Sir Ronan, demonstrated for us. Whether you are a new writer or an experienced one, anyone was welcome to play these fun games. I spoke with Sir Rowan to learn more about Order of Epona. What we do is we're a traveling performance troupe. So we travel up and down like all the mountain states, um, New Mexico, Montana, and we put on a medieval style show. Um, and what we're doing today is just training other people to do the basic games of jousting. Um, you know, kind of have some fun. Uh, these are really common in competitions all over the United States and Europe. Um, so we're giving everybody else a chance to kind of see what we do as just a small part of our show. This looked like so much fun, I had to get suited up and try it out. I'm here with Order of Epona, and we're going to learn how to throw a spear on a horse. So, let's get started. Oh, well, Rams, it looks like I'm not going to be jousting this season. So Rowan definitely made that look way easier than it was. I'll report back to you next year after some much needed practice. 
With spring just starting, Netflix decided to do a bit of spring cleaning by getting rid of some beloved content. In April, things like all of the X-Files except the last season, Firefly, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and The Princess Bride, which will, will be removed from Netflix, which is inconceivable. Will, and these are just a few of the movies and shows that Netflix are taking out. But for this, Netflix binge watchers like myself, they are of course replacing it with some new stuff like Schindler's List, Tropic Thunder, and tons of new Netflix originals like Bill Nye Saves the World. Now, while we may be saying goodbye to some of our favorites, there are of course new shows and movies that we can all watch instead of doing homework. In some more TV news, we have a new update on everyone's favorite show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. As we know, season 13 is currently being aired, but a new show about this lovely family has been proposed. They're proposing to release a new animated spin-off to Keeping Up with the Kardashians, featuring the entire family except for Caitlyn Jenner. Now we don't know much about it, but we do know that it may be in the works soon. So get ready to see your favorite talentless hacks again, but this time animated. Well, Rams, that's all the time we have for tonight. Make sure to watch CTV Cooks tomorrow, and additionally, we will also be live streaming ASCSU Debate from 8 to 6 tomorrow. Have a great night, Rams.